In this short tutorial I'd like to show you how to use attributes to set up a title block for your drawing border. I've drawn already a simple uh, example border here which we can use as a, a template. Of course you can uh, design it as you like or as your office requires. The first thing I'm going to do is probably the easiest thing and that's to insert a logo here on the right hand side. Now I have a logo on my desktop which we can use. Let's go to the desktop here. Now I'm going to open this with paint but the important thing is also to know that you can only insert in this particular way bitmaps. So picture files with the DMP uh, file name. Right click and then open with paint. I'm going to mark everything then use control C to copy everything or of course you can use a right click copy. Now I can put this out go back to my drawing and now I can simply insert it in my drawing. Go to my home I'm on the right layer, good. Now I can just move it into the right position as you could move any other object. I'm going to pop it a millimeter away from this corner. I need to scale it of course. I need a position where these lines cross. So I'm going to offset this object here by one millimeter. I'm now going to scale my logo from this point relative from here to here on this intersection. There we are. I can now erase these objects and I'm going to move this line to the edge of the logo. On this at minus one, one. So that's nicely framed by these lines. So let's start putting some text in. We'll put this in on the layer border text. This will be text which one can't change once the block is inserted. Let's go to our text tab. Don't be confused by the German expressions up here. I'm using a German installation of AutoCAD, but of course all the commands are actually the same. This I'm going to insert from here at 2 minus 2. And this will be our project. Yeah, that's fine. I think I will copy this down. Oh, let's use array. It's even easier. Okay, let's say we're going to have five rows, just one column, and the row spacing will be six but in the other direction, so it'll be minus, bigger object. Yeah, that's fine. Now the first one will just make a little bit bigger. I'll use my command here. I'll put that as five. No, that's going to be way too big. Let's put it as four. Yeah, that's fine. Let's erase that one just move these down a couple. Yeah, that's fine. Our next piece of text we'll call sheet title. The next one we'll call file 
name and the one after that we'll call date okay now for the next one we have to go to our attribute command and that we find in the tab for inserting blocks and other objects here we can define our attribute this is the first one we'll do but of course we want to put these on the proper layer and the layer which I have here defined for this purpose is border text attribute we go to our insert tab attribute to be defined now we're going to call this one project I'll mark that so I don't have to write it again project and we'll have a project here as well since this text is a little bit bigger than the other ones we'll change the height as well here to 4 the other things can change these things can stay as they are as well say so, ok where should we insert it let's insert it there and we can move it a bit so that it looks like it's going to end up in the right position yeah that looks fine now what I'm going to do is make this into a block and we can see how that works now this is a, a normal attribute you saw how I did it from the insert tab define attribute just fill in the uh, things there which you want and it's basically finished I'm just going to change my layer to zero because that's the layer in which I'm going to insert this but I'm going to use the command BL A4 order insert point is here objects to be used are these and these erase everything. Now I'm going to insert this block and we'll see what then happens. I'll insert it at naught, naught. There we go. Here comes the dialog and we can write then our project name and we'll call it drawing border example. I could of course show you how to do lots of these but if you've seen one you basically get the idea. Now how are we going to fill in our sheet titles, file names and dates and so on? These we could do in exactly the same way so that every time I do a double click on there I can change things. I could just call it drawing border and there it changes but if you see it's actually a part of this block. For these other pieces of information we can use text fields to fill in the information automatically. How can one do that? I can't go into this block using a double click with the left button because that just opens my dialog box for the attributes. So now of course we have to use a right click and go to our block editor. Here also in the tab for insertion we have here text fields. When I click on that we have a, an enormous variety of different kinds of fields which are basically text which is automatically inserted. Now the first one, sheet title, is the one which is actually the most complicated along the, of these various uh, possibilities that we have here we have one which is for other things and here we find system variables and the one that we're after is actually called ctab and that's actually the name of our layout tab. I say OK. Where should it be inserted? Let's insert it here. I think I'll move it across a little bit now. That's just a little bit big, so I can change that here with my various options. We'll change that to 2.5. Of course I can change here my color and everything else. For example, my layer. I'll put it on the attribute layer. Let's move it across a little. And what I'm going to do is actually 
just copy it down and then we get the position right without any bother. With a double click I can then get to the, my text fields. For this one I'm going to choose from the options for the document file name. Here of course I have a choice just the file name, just the uh, the path definition or both together. I'll just take the file name. So we have our, our file name, definition of what should appear. We can then say OK. Setting up a drawing frame DWG. Uh, That's right. And we'll take away the rest. The date is just as easy. Again, double click, right click, work on the field and here we're going to pick date and time. We have a choice of various things here. I'm going to take my save time, day, month, year, say OK and now I can save this. Yes I do want to save it. Good and there you see my layout name is automatically my sheet title. So I can change this. Rename. I'm going to call this Sheet 1. And then I'll put the paper size as well, which I find useful if I'm doing batch plots. OK. Nothing's happened. It's not a problem. All we do is save once and then it's up to date. And of course the same thing happens if I change my file name as well. We can just compare that setting up a drawing frame, setting up a drawing frame DWG. And here we have a nice border with changeable text which are attributes and also some text which appears or which changes to be more precise automatically.